Brett described the shark as the size of a small car. So that firmly puts the big three in the frame. Tiger shark, bull shark, and the one and only great white shark. He also said it was dark on top, light underneath, had a long tail fin and had a very broad snout. Now, the three species of sharks that we're thinking about all have some element of countershading, that dark on top, light underneath. So that doesn't really help us to narrow it down, but the blunt snout does. So if we take a look at this great white here, we can see that it's got this narrow, streamlined snout. And in fact, in Australia, they're referred to as pointers. So I think we can very safely rule out great whites. Now, when we're thinking about slow-moving sharks that take large prey, they often have broad, flat heads. And that really leaves us with both the tiger and the bull. So there's something that Brett didn't mention that could potentially help us. So if we look at this tiger shark here, we can see that it's got these really distinct markings along the side. And Brett didn't see this. So let's rule out the tiger shark also. Now that leaves us with the bull shark, which really matches Brett's description, that countershading with that really blunt head. 